Este es Aaron con y de en computers.com. Otro video para ti hoy. Another request. On this third party website where I earn supplemental income answering computer and technology related questions, let's cut to the chase. I'm trying to connect a printer and I'm not sure where I have to go to connect the error message I get. IC can't open the application driver update setup exe because Microsoft Windows applications aren't supported on OS 10. Does this mean that this printer will not go with this computer? Well, duh. Yes. I am not computer savvy at all. All right. Well, let me lecture really quick. If you're not computer savvy, become computer savvy. I've been using computers since the late 70s, early 80s. As a matter of fact, some of the first hardware I ever became accustomed to using was actually Apple, the Apple 2C and the 2C Plus or whatever, the older school Apple print computers with cartridges and tape drives and floppies. Yes. Yes. There are no more excuses, not in my world. That was 40 years ago. If you and then here's a tip. If you're not computer savvy, I wouldn't even bother buying a computer. You have no business using a computer yet. Purchase some books. If you cannot afford to purchase books, I'm not being condescending. You can go to your local library. You don't need internet access to find your local library. You know where your local library is at. You should. Go to your local library and check out some computer books. I think it's productive that you get some computer books describing the hardware, peripherals. A printer is a peripheral. It'll describe USB, wireless, Ethernet, blah, blah, blah. And there will also be some computer books that will teach you how to use the operating system. How do I use a Macintosh? How do I use OS X? All right, so let's quickly cut to the chase. I provided two links in my blog post. Click on the description box down below that'll take you to my blog post on my website, anacomputers.com, where you can read all of the abstraction. The first link takes you to the support page for HP DexJet 2652. It should automatically detect your operating system. If it doesn't, there's a change button. Click on the change button click on the drop down choose your operating system click on change again to make those changes pun intended permanent and then it should show you the download for that specific operating system this individual was using OS 10.10 .10, which is also known as Yosemite that's very important you need to know what operating system you're using in order to correctly install drivers right and software this individual was not computer savvy so they assumed incorrectly that they could just hook up the printer and start printing away wrong wrong here's another tip read the quick start guide especially if you bought a brand new printer it should have a quick start guide included read it that's what it's for it will warn you number one not to hook up the printer your, to your computer until you install a software. I would say about 99%, close to 99.9% .9 of the time, when it comes to Hewlett Packard printers, you have to load the software first. Then you connect the printer when the installation asks. If you hook up the printer beforehand and it loads a default driver, it may fuck up the installation and you may have added yourself another hour or of two of banging your head on a goddamn fucking steel lead pipe. Once you download the software, it's real easy. I included instructions for this individual. They followed my instructions. They admitted that they were not computer savvy, but my instructions were well written enough that they were able to then print successfully in color, in color, in color. I won't touch that one because I don't want to make this video too long. It's a zip file. You're going to download a zip file. Just click on one of the links. The second link is a direct link to Yosemite. If you're using OS 10.10, .10, which is also known as Yosemite, the second link I provided right here that I have my mouse hovered is a direct link to the zip file. If you're not using OS 10.10, .10, don't use that link. All right? But I did include a link directly to the support page, the downloads page, and it should automatically detect your operating system. So that's all you have to do.
boom click on the link download it oh now this individual was confused or they were not computer savvy they did not know where to look for the download well on an Apple Macintosh look Apple computers are fucking dumbed down they are they're dumbed down the dumbification of society they're much easier to use than a fucking Windows computer but compared to Linux they're real easy and yet you got there are no excuses I mean I've been using computers since the late 70s for fuck's sakes computers have been mainstream for at least 40 years now but there are resources go to your local library I also included a link to a book showing you how to use Mac OS 10 Yosemite I'm a eBay affiliate so I get a commission if you purchase from those links whenever you download software on a Macintosh computer I think by default the operating system automatically chooses the downloads folder for your web browser you can change it but I think by default it always chooses download so anytime you download something from a web browser on Mac look in your downloads folder so if you do not know where to look use finder finder is in the dock the dock is the menu at the bottom on a Mac with all the icons that's called the dock look for the finder icon click on the finder icon it'll open up finder finder to me an analogy or the its common brother because Microsoft funds Mac there is no competition the system is a hundred percent rigged there is no competition with these technology giants Microsoft actually funds Mac they fund Apple about a decade ago they gave Apple a hundred million dollars why would you fund your competitor if your competitor is really your competitor you're because the system is rigged there is no competition the system does not allow competition they don't want competition the Christian religious freaks that run the United States and a lot of them are military they are control freaks they don't want competition they don't want real comp I don't even like competition but I'm just saying in America we are propagandized and lied to and sold that there's competition among these technology corporations that is a flat-out lie that's a myth and I just proved it to you within about 10 seconds all right so open up finder finder is like file manager in Microsoft Windows it should take you to your Apple account you know the Apple ID that you or your your Apple username that you log into your Macintosh it should take you to the folder the user folder look for your Apple user name on the left hand side click on it if it doesn't take you directly to that user account excuse me click on it now it'll show you your folders on Mac desktop documents downloads Dropbox library movies music pictures public sites now a lot of those folders are named the same as on Windows I don't think that's an accident because I just proven to you that Microsoft and Apple are really one corporation Microsoft and Apple are one corporation in on it they're you know they are not real competitors desktop documents downloads anyways music pictures those are the same folders that you'll find in Windows all right so click on downloads your Hewlett Packard printer driver for your HP desk jet 2562 should have downloaded in a zip file on der downloads double click it or whatever you do on a Mac and once it opens you might have to drag it to the applications folder once it's inside applications you double click it or you click it once and then poof you have to install the driver this printer will not work on Mac operating system until you install the driver so don't assume anything until you become less computer savvy no excuses 40 decades with 40 four decades at least where com personal computers have been mainstream now that's all you have to do install the driver and just like this individual that was not computer savvy 
they were able to col uh, print in color. Now, before I run, I highly think it's productive that if you know that you're not computer savvy, you really have no business owning a computer yet. Go to your local library or go to the bookstore or wherever. Go online. If you know enough how to surf the internet, there are all kinds of books about computers. Hardware, peripherals. Well, what does USB stand for? Well, what's a printer? A printer is technically a peripheral. Well, how does the printer talk with the computer? How does the operating system know how to print? Or how to, you know, a printer is just a hardware device. It's a foreign object to the operating system until you tell the operating system what to do. Therefore, you have to load software or you have to load drivers. And here's another tip. My experiences with printers is there are some default printer drivers in Microsoft Windows, but there's most times you still have to end up either installing a printer driver from CD-ROM or from the Internet. Most printers that I've ran across are not supported by the the driver cache in Microsoft Windows. Macintosh, I don't have enough experiences. I don't know. There could be some printers that are supported by default because there is a driver in the Mac OS driver cache. But I would say my experiences overall, I wouldn't assume that. Adios.